active volcano right now but how did we get here let's uh rewind a little okay that is a little too much a couple weeks back i was scrolling tiktok when these videos of volcanoes were popping up left and right I'm going. i immediately hit up a friend to see if he was down for the adventure right yo, yo are you down to hike an active volcano Are you down to hike an active volcano? Dude, yes. All right, Dude, let's, you know I'm always down. let's do it. Let's buy some tickets. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> and just like that, we were off. We are hopping on our flight right now into Guatemala. We've got about, we've got a long journey to get there. And after actually getting kicked off of our first flight. They replaced us with ice, <laughs> literal ice There was cubes. too much ice on the plane. So they kicked this too off. Mu too much like ice bags for customers, so the, it was too heavy. We eventually made it to where we needed to be, but that was just the start. Now we take a series of colectivos, taxis, tuk-tuks, a boat, and even a night bus to get to Antigua. Hey, rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. We are in the heart of Guatemala City right now in zone one. This is something crazy. It's eerie out. We have made it to our home base to climb that boy right there. So the volcano is erupting as we speak. Check that out, y'all. It's cold as balls here. This hike is going to be insane. Ever since we started traveling, higher than literally anything else on the bucket list is to hike an active volcano. And it is erupting right now. Here's our via for the next five nights as a base camp. We are heading up in a couple days. Um, for now, we're just gonna explore Antigua and see what it has to offer. We spent these days walking through the streets of Guatemala, and this place is defined by its hardworking people as well as its colorful streets, and it's surrounded by volcanoes. The people of Guatemala are so good at keeping their traditions alive. I honestly think one of my favorite parts of this whole trip was seeing the beautiful dresses that everyone wore. Uh, un dia más. Un dia más. Oh. Climbing Acatenango. 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 Uh, al volcán. Es al volcán de Acatenango. Sí. Mucho frío también. Mucho frío. Mucho frío sí. arriba. Pero menos que. Tienes más ropa. Sin más ropa, exacto. Sí, sí. Yeah, what are we doing? Filling out my uh, massage sheet because we're about to get a little 20 minute relaxing massage. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> Literally saw bamboo massage on the side of the road walking home. And now we're in here. <laughs> that was something magical. However, we are done now. We are going home. <sighs> Tomorrow is going to be a long day. We had to stay here for two nights in order to get acclimated to the elevation. Otherwise, this hike would have been a lot harder than it is already going to be. But with that being said, let's get on to the main point of this video, which is climbing the most active volcano in Guatemala. Um, Mr. Weasel, how are you feeling about tomorrow's hike? Just want to say thank you for having me on here. Do call me Weasel. Um, <clears throat> so, your question was, how do you feel about the hike tomorrow? Is this correct? Correct. So, with the gravity situation and, you know, everything that's going on and the traveling we've done, I'm going to kill it. I'm stoked. I'm a little nervous. I might be shitting my brains out halfway up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, as I was saying overall, I'm stoked. I'm ready for this. And um, I can't wait to get up there and hike some some freaking volcanic rock i'll be seeing you guys later good night folks we'll see you in the morning it's go time y'all we're about to roll out but i'm gonna make some little eggies first it's crazy that this day is finally here 
I've been researching this volcano for so many weeks now, and it's a little surreal that we're going to hike it in just about 15 minutes, so. By the way, I got shit sleep, so let's go. Yoink. Huss. Awesome. Alright, we're loading her up. Baby. So right now we are on the shuttle on the way to the base of the mountain. Well, I might die today, but we'll see. Liga Guatemala is 1,500 over the sea level, and then the entrance of the volcano is 2,200 over the sea level. Right? So that change of altitude is going to make you feel like you can't breathe well, but it's totally normal. It happens to everybody, okay? So what we need you to do in the beginning is just to go real, real slow, pace yourself, and let your body adapt to the changes. That's it, okay? Now after the first okay. two hours, you're gonna have a lunch. We finally arrived at the mountain's base, and we officially met everyone we'd be hiking with. Which name do you think it would be a good name for this team? <laughs> Capitan Tortuga. I won't argue about that. <laughs> we're gonna say Capitan Tortuga. Tuga, and down we're gonna put the hands up and we're gonna say CA Travels, okay? Okay, <laughs> Capitan Tortuga, CA Travels! And right then we would start the trek of over eight hours straight uphill. Well, we're an hour in and we made it to the entrance. <laughs> Entrada. Just made it to the entrance, there's all this wild sugar cane growing behind me. One second later, and you're in dense jungle. <laughs> There's a whole community of dogs that lives on this volcano. It's, this place is wild. This is the homie Draco right here, and he's been following us for miles now. We're getting really, really, really close. Yes. And uh, I'm excited to get our first view at Fuego. Hopefully the clouds aren't covering it, but that's one of the things you risk. You can't really tell when it's going to be clear or not in Guatemala because it comes out of nowhere. We're making the trek into camp. We're so close. That is Mount Agua. Once we turn this corner, we're gonna get our first view at Fuego. Yeah, uh, she's giving us a show. We literally just turned the corner, saw it for the first second, and she erupts. It's pretty cool, huh? Fuego, Fuego. Fuego. Made it to Mount Fuego. Here is base camp. Cooking up some hot chocolate right now. And, uh, we're about to head out on a three hour hike over to there. I think that's a lot bigger than usual, bro. It's coming down to where we're supposed to go. We are supposed to go right yeah, here. Right where those rocks are. Right where that point is. And you guys can see. Holy shit. Holy fucking turkey shit. The gizzard. Here are our tents, y'all. And this is the volcano. We have three more hours to go until we get there. Or three more hours of total hiking until we see Fuego, which is truly the reason we came here. That boy is what we're climbing. So we're going to leave here in 30 minutes with a smaller group of people because it's not for the faint of heart. We're going to enjoy some Guatemalan hot chocolate first, and then uh, I'll see you guys on the hike. That is the whole reason that I'm here right now. It's a little bit surreal of a feeling, but I'm ready. This is uh, the view from our tent. Not bad if I do say so myself. Ah, Brandon's about to whip me some up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gracias, amigo. Más caro. So we gave them all our uh, pasta they're gonna cook for us while we're at Fuego. <laughs> He's going back for seconds right now. <laughs> <laughs> Saying goodbye to Brandon. Hey, How you doing, amigo? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're gonna be gone? You're gonna be gone? I will be here. You're saying? I will save some for the hot for you. Alright, brother. I'll see ya. Later, later, Gators. Bye. Alright, we're off. Just got back from five hours of hiking. Just to hike three more. Let's go.
I lied out that night thinking about how the bus ride up was filled with unfamiliar faces and by the end of the day we all shared a beautiful bond. Not an ounce of negativity was around this campfire and we sat out eating delicious foods and sharing stories with people from all around the world. At the end of the day these are the moments that make every single part of travel worth it and this is why I strive for a life alive.